google account it is free obviously i am talking to you through a camera so this is another important thing that you need information are out there knowledge is free you just have to go acquire it hey my love so welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jizzy twitter and if you're just seeing this beautiful face for the first time you're very much welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by this means a lot to me now today we'll be talking about the basic basic and necessary things that you need in order to start up your own youtube channel now in time past i've been getting so many questions as to oh judith how did you start up your youtube channel oh judith what is required of me all oh, this all oh, that this and that so many questions here and there so i thought to bring up this particular video to answer your questions and i hope you find this very helpful so first things first you need a google account google account it is very much free and it is a must have for you to start up a youtube channel because it gives youtube access to you this is the way they can communicate to you and i think smartphone as long as you're using a smartphone google account is required of you because it's linked to different applications you have on your phone so you definitely need a must have i said have a google account unless if what you're just doing with your phone is to make phone calls and that's all but google account is very important and it is a must have for you to start up a youtube channel that is that for the first one secondly is a youtube channel name this one is this is something that you have to definitely think about before you say oh i need to start up a youtube channel because a name is required this should be around whatever you're trying to put out there it should reflect the type of content that you plan on creating that is for your youtube channel name the next thing that is required of you is for you to have a concept or a niche if you're coming out here on youtube to tell us different tips on if you're going to be putting out beauty content fashion faith lifestyle vlogs whatever it is it's more like you having a specific topic not a topic i would call it as it said a niche it will help guide you so you don't be around like everywhere are you coming to teach us oh everything you're going to be teaching us is about food so that when people think of you the first thing they think of is oh this person like let me give for instance i'm a makeup artist and my putting out content out there is from persons to like when they think of makeup the first name they should think of is judith judith twitter because that is my major major niche i wish to <laughs> i'm a makeup artist and that is what i plan on focusing my content to be centered on makeup beauty and lifestyle vlogs if you go to my channel description you're going to see the number of things i thought of building my cons my content on fashion beauty and lifestyle so it's important for you to pick one or two or three things just from a niche i've talked too much on this i'm, I'm not talking again anymore. just have a niche have a concept and then put it out there another thing you need is a camera camera it could be your phone it could be a camera presently i'm using my phone 
obviously i am talking to you through a camera so this is another important thing that you need another thing that you're going to need is a video editing software or application this is very important in you editing your pictures just like i said video editing so another thing you're going to need is a video editing application or software we have vn we have CapCut, we have femora we have in short there are a number of them out there you have to just pick one and play around it presently i'm using cap cuts for my video edits i know when i started first i did use in short and next i went to vn and now again i'm on cap cut my only advice is that you don't 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 just stay and stick to one pattern unless for me I'm still looking for a particular one that I feel like is good. I did try VN and it is very okay. And I thought of trying out CapCut because I've been seeing it everywhere. So I just thought to try it out. If I see that it's very okay, I mean by by the time I'm by the time this video would be up uploaded, it is CapCut that I'll be using to edit it. So I would also see the result if it's okay. I mean. There won't be any harm if i'm using vn or i'm using CapCut, and of course i can also try out other ones so don't just restrict yourself to a particular um editing software and if you wish if you find it in short fine if you're fine with vn you find your cap cut any one that is nobody's going to beat you so you just have to try and make a research play around different applications and know which works best for you another thing you're going to be needing is um your thumbnail call it visuals for your thumbnails your photos you also need applications such as pixart canva it is canva that you're going to use to for your thumbnail in case you're wondering what a thumbnail is a thumbnail is that first picture you see on a video that introduces you on a particular video but the thumbnail is that particular image you see introducing you to a video that is what the thumbnail is and it is very important that it looks quite attractive because that is what draws people to clicking on your video in order to watch so your thumbnail is very important a high quality picture is also important that is why you have your pics art and your canva in order to do one or two edits and put it out there you're also allowed to play around them personally i use different different applications i think i'm going to i think i'm going to upload another video as to various applications that in my phone my phone is loaded with a lot of um softwares of of applications i have Ponto, i have cap cuts i have canva i have um vn i have inshots i have a lot of them i can't start mentioning them but these are just very important and good and needed for you to Put out good content out there another most important another most important thing you need for you to start up a youtube channel is your youtube studio this works very best in order to track your growth analytics on youtube you don't just need youtube studio i mean you need there's two body and there is youtube studio these are some things that most youtubers don't know for as many who do not like research i personally i love i love researching i could be on youtube clicking on one thing or the other trying to know how best to get better on this content creation of a thing 
so most importantly you need youtube studio as an application on your phone and if possible you should also get tubebuddy tubebuddy i'm going to leave the names in the description box these things help you to monitor your growth monitor um your impressions the likes comments to know the watch time as to know if people actually like what you're putting out there to also it will also help you it will also guide you as to a particular video that people are actually clicking through on at least it will help you know oh, okay people actually love my makeup videos so why don't i create more makeup videos since people are clicking so much more and staying and spending so much time on my on my makeup videos that is the analytics you're talking about another thing you need to know is uh consistent content now myself i'm not supposed to be talking so much about this because i'm not consistent yet though i'm trying so much though i'm trying so much in order to build that consistency you should build because this is what helps put you out there so dishing out videos weekly let's say twice a week or once a week is not that easy it just needs that dedication and time and discipline so i'm not so much so much so much in a better position to say this but just as everybody would say and i've also seen consistency is the key like it is very important that if it's once a week that you know you're going to be able to put out videos please be consistent on it so that youtube also will recognize you and people also will recognize you if it's twice a week fine if it's three times a week anyhow no matter however your your energy your strength can carry please do it consistency is very very important another thing i'll be talking about here is persistence and patience now i must tell you that youtube has a way of trying your patience and the presence of you dishing out contents there the times when you feel like the energy you're putting out is not being reciprocated like you're not seeing the results many people come on youtube in order to get paid i mean it won't just happen in a day or two or or three it doesn't just happen immediately you have to have it at the back of your mind that a day i have to be patient if you really 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 want to go big into this youtube game you have to calm down slow down <laughs> not slow down calm down don't be in a hurry to want to get monetized immediately if that's your own goal don't be in a hurry because it's it won't happen today you getting a hundred subscriber or one thousand subscribers will not just happen today and because you put up you put in too many energy in a particular video doesn't mean that the whole world should see it you have to be patient because that is youtube for you that is the community for you i don't mean they're not nice though but i think that is where growth comes in gradually that is why i also said you need to be patient in as much as what you're doing you're not really seeing the results now it doesn't mean you should stop putting out videos there you have to still be persistent in you putting out content be consistent at it and now few tips as to basic things that you require you will need 
these are this is just last few tips that i will be putting for as many who would be able to stay and watch up to this point for you attaching music to some of your videos now youtube has this copyright um thing that affects many youtubers there are so many songs that are being copyrighted but then youtube in all their goodness and riches they made a number of sounds and songs made available for people to take and attach it to their videos but just in case that one is not enough there is another one called ncs non-copyrighted sound right non-copyright sound that's ncs this is a little platform also on youtube where you can go download their sound or music and then attach it to your own video they have varieties at all millions of sounds where you can all you need to do is to just recognize them put it in your own video and tell people that oh this is where i got my own video my own music or sound um another is one that helps remove the background in a picture just something like this something like this or this remove the name is remove.bg all you need to do is to go to chrome or opera mini any of your browser put in remove.bg and follow it up from there they help crop out the background of just like what i showed you in order to create this or that there are other apps also that helps you do that this is where your research comes in you need to play around a number of things make your research you're going to find out things informations are dished out there informations are out there knowledge is free you just have to go acquire it be patient enough to research find down the number of things we has practice all of those and you will get answers a number of answers to a number of your questions so another tip i just mentioned here is you making your own research in order to summarize what i've said first thing is that you have to have a clear and a wide vision of what you want next is a consistent content and another is willingness to learn and adapt make research as you grow because growth is going to take place if you put in the work so i think that's that for this particular video i hope this was helpful if you have more questions as to things number of things that i said don't forget to leave it in the comment section I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also share. Share to your friends. Share to as many who wish to see and know what's up with starting up a YouTube channel. It could be helping us so. Bye. Got drunk off your life And I lost myself again